Hey, what's up, guys? This is Vimal here. Welcome to TRHD. In this video, I am going to show you how to make use of solar power. Solar panel is generally a photovoltaic cell which converts solar energy to electricity. I am going to use this electricity to run many gadgets and applications at our home. The solar panel I am using is a 12 volt 350 mA one. During daytime, you can directly use the solar panel to run any lighting or any application. But later, uh, if you want to use it at night, you can use a battery. You can use a rechargeable battery to store that solar energy and use it later. Now I'll show you how the solar panel works. When sun falls on this, it will produce a voltage of 12 volts and a current of 350 mA, which can charge a battery. See the free power guys, no money. It's absolutely free. Just enjoy. I'm using a 12 volt lead acid battery, which I'm going to charge using this solar panel. Using this battery, I'm going to light up few LEDs, which is really bright and it can light up a whole big room. In remote places and villages, where there is no electricity, people can use these LEDs which can last for a whole night and can light up a room. Solar energy can be used in many ways. I have used the solar energy to make an emergency light, a cell phone charger and a beacon flasher module. Now I will show you how this emergency light will function. This is a LED strip. This is a solar panel. You can see that the lights are inactive when the light is falling on the solar panel. When the sun will set like this, you can see the lights glow up. See like this. This feature is automatic. When the sun will rise, the light will, lights will go off like this and the sun will set, the lights will come automatically like this. You can see. This is another module that I have made. It is a cell phone charger module. Now I will connect this to the battery. Using this switch, you can turn it on or off. Now you can use this to charge your cell phone, tabs or walkmans. This is the beacon flasher module. After attaching this to the battery, you can see how the lights will flash automatically. And now I am attaching the flash. You can see the lights are already started flashing. It's really bright. If you don't need all these modules, you want to keep it simple, then go with the basic module. It has only a toggle switch. You can control the lights using this. You can reduce the intensity of the light by using this switch. You can reduce the intensity to half. With this, you can extend the battery life almost double. This is how I have connected the solar panel to the battery. You can see there is only this wire coming from the solar panel. These are the extra ports that you need to connect to the modules. You can connect the USB module over here, USB charging module. And the lights go from this side. You can connect it to the terminals of the battery. I have connected the automatic module to this battery using this connector. You can see how it is functioning. See the LED is lit up like this. I will explain the circuit diagrams of these modules with the help of schematics. You can follow the schematics and make your own ones. Now I have connected the basic module. This is the most simple one. It has only a connector and a simple switch. You can use this switch to turn the LEDs on or off. Now I have connected the USB charging module to the battery. Now let's switch it on. Now I'll show you how the phone is charging with this kit. I'm connecting my phone with the help of this USB. I'll show you now. You can see the phone has started charging already. You can see the phone indicating the charging over here. It's working perfectly. This is the main schematic of the complete wiring. You can see the solar panel is connected with the help of a two pin connector to the battery. This diode is really important guys, don't forget this thing, it will protect the solar panel from the reverse current from the battery. This is the USB charging uh, connector connected to the battery and this is the 4 pin module connector where you can connect all the different modules that you made. This is the light panel guys, it has 6 LEDs in it, each of 1 watt. These are connected with the help of a DPDT switch with center of position. 
the connection is shown over here have a look this is the light panel you can see six leds are connected in this way and these two are current remitting resistors this one is a dpdt switch with a center of position you can use this to turn the leds on in full power or half power mode this is the schematic of the basic module you can see it has only one connector and an spst switch this is the simplest one and this is the auto module which senses the daylight i have used two common emitter stages to sense the daylight and this is the four pin connector this is the daylight automatic sensing module it is very simple i have shown everything in the schematic this is the usb charging module it's very simple to assemble i'll just show you with the help of a schematic this is the usb charging module schematic you can see i have used a regulator ic7805 to give the connections to the usb port this is the usb port and this is the input usb connector two pin connector when you give 12 volts from the battery to this connector this ic regulates the 12 volts and uh, to 5 volts and gives it to the usb which is used for charging mobiles tabs and walkmans this is the beacon flasher module i have used two triple 5 ic's and i have used them as a a stable multi vibrator i'll explain clearly with the help of a schematic this is the beacon flasher module schematic you can see i have connected two ic's any triple 5 ic's and used them as a stable multi vibrator one at high frequency and other at low frequency both these are connected with the help of a four pin connector and given to the module connector so guys i have just shown you a few examples of what you can do with the help of solar energy you can connect number of solar panels to run your entire home and enjoy the solar energy for free thank you guys for watching my video again if you loved the video hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe i'll be posting new awesome videos soon